Lydia, if we can find you exactly what you want in Lake Hills and get you closer to David sooner rather than later, then that would make sense for you, right? Yeah? Great. Well, let's do this. Now, now it's time for the close. Once you've found the carrot, you found their problem, and you've logistically asked all the questions. Hey, this is Aaron Yoon, and if you've ever wanted to set more listing appointments, if you've ever wanted to learn what to say, how to say it, and how to turn a no into a yes, if you've ever wanted to increase your conversion with following up, prospecting, uh, circle prospecting, cold calling, door knocking, expires, uh, open houses, whatever it is, if you've wanted to get more listings and become more of an efficient communicator in real estate, then stay to the end, I have an offer for you. There's a few key fundamentals to a conversation. And this applies to your friends, your family, your relatives, your, your neighbor, some store owner, anyone that you're trying to sell anything on, whether it's like selling them on product, service, or yourself, this is a life skill. It's insane. This, this applies to everything in life. This is exactly how you get what you want. In the context of cold calling, um, this is how we're gonna do it. Hey, this is Olga with eXp Realty. How you doing? You might, be, you might hear that, you might hear someone say, don't say how are you doing. You, you might hear that. The reason why how are you doing is in there is because I'm calling because there's a, the market's hot and brickle, and I'm just wondering if you had any plans on buying or selling any homes in the future. Or I'm just calling because there's a bunch of homes in brickle selling for over asking price. I'm just wondering if you had any plans on buying or selling any homes in the future. That's a short little monologue that you have to go into, and they might not be list they not they not they might not want to listen to you, so they might hang up. If you're finding that, then the how are you doing makes them respond and invest a little into the conversation. Hey, this is Aaron with EXP Realty. How you doing? Good. And now they're invested. They're, they took part in the they took part in our conversation. <clears throat> Good. Uh, I'm just calling because there's a, the market's hot right now in Brickle. I'm just wondering if you had any plans on buying or selling a home in the future. They're probably going to say no. In fact, like 95% of the time, they're going to say no. So that's when you ask, okay, well, if you did buy or sell a home in the future, when do you think that would be? And then now they're going to think about it and they'll like, they're, they'll say, ah, actually, I'm, I'm going to like, I'm going to be downsizing in three years. Okay, so if, you're, if you've ever walked into Nordstrom or a Zara or wherever, someone's gonna ask you, hey, what brings you in today? And you say, just looking. I'm just looking. But you came in there looking for a shirt. You got in your car and you entered the fucking mall because you wanted a shirt. But when they asked you what you want, what you're looking for, you just brush them off. Now, if they were to ask you, okay, well, well Lede, if, if you came here for one thing, what would you get? And then you're like, well, I'm, I'm here looking for a black shirt. And now, now that person got a completely different answer because they bypassed your automatic response, automatic response. So that's what we're doing here. That's why we ask twice. That's why we never assume that this no is not a no. Because majority of the time, well, a no can mean no. But a lot of the times, that no actually means Ask me in a different way. Ask me again specifically. Okay, well, if you did buy or sell, hey, Lede, I understand you have no plans on uh, moving. Sounds like you're in a great home right now. If you ever did buy or sell a home in the future, when do you think that would be? You know, I might, I might move in like five years. Okay, great. Does, that, does this part make sense for you guys? All right, so now here is the second portion. Here is... This is how you get what you want in life, all right? And this is exactly how you're gonna get them to see value in you and want to set up that appointment. This is where you start asking questions. The more questions you ask, the more ammunition you have to close for the appointment. So there's two questions you ask, two, two paths you can take. In this scenario, it makes more sense to go to the motivation, okay? So you have to understand exactly why they're selling and when, because this is the carrot on the stick you dangle in front of them. You are gonna be the person that can get that carrot for them. And they, they associate that with you. And if you're the person that can get their carrot, you have immense value in their eyes. So nice. Okay, so A, if you, if, Lede, if you ever did buy or sell a home, when do you think that would be? In three years. 
All right, now you got that yes. Now it's, now it's time to move on to the important questions. Now it's time to get the motivation. Nice. Lede, what's happening in three years? Uh, give me something, Lede. In three years, um, my son's graduating. Okay. Do you plan on staying in, in the state? Do you plan on moving out of the area? Uh, we'll be moving out of state. Moving out of state. Okay, great. Where to? It's all dependent on where my son gets accepted. Okay, gotcha. So you want to be where your son's at in college. Is that right? Correct. Okay, great. So now I have her motivation. She wants to stay close to her son. There's probably some kind of feeling of security, stability, comfort in that. So now that's her motivation. Or um, you know, if she wants to move out of state, let's say she just wants to move out of state. And I'm like, okay, great, what's, what's out of state for you? And where is that? It's in Florida, my family's there. Okay, so you wanna move closer to family in Florida or wherever. You need to understand their motivation. And, and keep in mind, if they say I'm moving to Texas, that's not the motivation. That's just a place. You need to understand why they're moving to Texas, okay? Um, I, uh, I have a business down there that I need to take, take care of. Okay, so Lede, it sounds like you wanna to move to Texas to be close to your business, is that right? Have them confirm, yeah. Great, now you have the carrot. Now you have the carrot. You know the whole reason why they want to move. And this is really important, okay? So now that you have the carrot, now you have to find the problem. What's stopping you from moving now? And this question isn't to pressure them into moving now. The question is, this question serves the purpose of telling you what kind of obstacles they're facing now. And if you can remove these obstacles or resolve these problems and make them understand that you're the person that can solve these problems for them, you have immense value. Not only do you have the carrot, you can get them directly to that carrot. Now let's get them to that carrot. What's stopping you from moving now? They're gonna give you a handful of responses. And a lot of these responses are covered on the breakfast club. So that's exactly why I need you guys to be on the breakfast club at 7.30 a.m. listening to exactly how to overcome objections. Um, I'm waiting for next year when the market gets hotter. Or, uh, I don't know, I need to talk to my wife. Or I need to do some renovations first. I need to update the cabinets. Or like I can't find a home where I'm trying to move to first. All these objections, all these problems are covered on the breakfast club. So I, that's, why, that's why I need you guys on, on at 7.30 in the morning and listen to us all make mistakes on the breakfast club so we're all learning together, okay? All right. Okay. Thanks, Lede. <laughs> <laughs> really. All right. So the carrot. Um, I'm moving to Tennessee to be closer to David. Okay, great. Well, Lede, what's stopping you from moving closer to David now? Well, I... Now, here's going to be the problem. I can't find a home near David. So now there's the problem. Now it's up to you to solve that problem. Okay, well, Lede, what is that community called? You, you want to specify. Like, oh, it's, it's this community on, like, Lake Hill. Okay, do you know what your... Do you know if you, your budget allows for you to afford that community? You have to like break it down. Um, yeah. Okay, so now you found out that there is a community near David that they want to move to, but there's just nothing on the market, but they can afford it, which is pretty important before you put all this effort into finding that community for them. Okay, so now you solve the problem, uh, or, or, or at least tell them. Lede, I've got a database full of off-market properties near Lake Hills. Lede, if we can find you exactly what you want in Lake Hills and get you closer to David sooner rather than later, then that would make sense for you, right? Yeah? Great. Well, let's do this. Now, now it's time for the close. 
Once you've found the carrot, you found their problem, and you've logistically asked all the questions, and you've asked all the logistical questions that, that are their problems or their obstacles, like they just couldn't find a home near David in another state. Well, we, we, have, we have the technology and we have the agents that seek off-market properties all the time in that state, in Tennessee. We can find you exactly what you're looking for in Lake Hills. Lede, if we're able to find you that home that you want next to David in Lake Hills, then it that would make sense for you, right? Okay, great. Well, before you make any decisions, now we're at the close. Before you make any decisions, Lede, let's do this. I'm gonna show you exactly how we're going to find you that off-market property in Lake Hills to, so that you can live closer to David. I'm free tomorrow at 4 p.m. or does six work better for you? All right, so if you're able to solve their problem, I'm sorry, if you're able to solve their problem so that they can get their carrot, why would they not meet with you? And now they're gonna be like, uh, I have to talk to my wife, I have to, I have to do a few, I have to renovate a little more. Again, that's, you know, it's more problems, which is good. They're telling you more of their problems and it's up to you to handle those objections, which is again, it's something we cover on the breakfast club at 7.30 a.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. So be there. After you handle their objections, they have no reason not to meet with you. And they want to meet with you because you can solve all, all their problems. If you can't close, all right, okay, la this is the last thing and, um, and then we'll get out of here. But this is, this, is, this is important because this is gonna be exactly what happens most of the time. And I see, a, I see pretty much every single one of you make this mistake because it's not instinctual. So if you can't set the appointment, you're, doing, you're going for the close number two, which is, okay, cool. Well, hey, it sounds like you're not ready now. Lede, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to send you my information via text so you have it. That way you can reach out whenever you need anything. All right? Okay. Aaron, uh, it's on the bottom. Go, go on the bottom. This is the, they're not ready yet. You've asked about their problems and you've asked about their motivations and they're just not ready to do shit right now. Things aren't lining up timeline wise. What's up? No, I definitely need that. Um, when I've been calling, I've been getting a whole bunch of no's. I'm not ready. It's not now. And she was like, yeah, you know, I'll keep your number. And I'm just like, yeah. But there's a you right that hung up. I'm like, he's totally not going to do that. Exactly. They're going to say, <laughs> oh, I'll text you when the time comes. I'll save your number. They won't. A hundred percent of the time, they fucking won't. So you, it's up to you to take action and make sure you're gonna do it for them. And here's exactly how you do it. Here's the wrong way, here's the wrong way I see. Well, I'd love to stay in touch. If it's okay with you, um, I'll call you in a few months. All right, so what does that imply? You don't belong there, you don't belong, you're not entitled to his business, you're not a powerful leader, you're not leading him through shit. You're just like, hey, if it's okay, um, with your permission, yeah, sir. Yeah, that was me. It's okay. Hey, it's everyone. It's everyone. Yeah, you don't ask for permission. You assume and you close. Assuming the sale is an attractive thing. And people do what they're told. Their, uh, your unconscious mind is programmed to just do what you're told. It, your mind loves doing what you're told. You will take direction. Especially if you're getting direction from someone competent, qualified, confident. You're going to take the direction. So, hey, when it comes time, Lede, I'd love, to, I'd love to help you move closer to David. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna text you my info so you have it. And whenever you need anything, if you have any questions, just reach out, okay? All right, Lede, I'll talk to you later. And then you send him this. Hey, great to hear from you. Looking forward to helping you regarding real estate in the future. Or, or personalize it. Looking forward to helping you move closer to David in Tennessee. Let me know if you have any questions regarding real estate in the future. So again, I don't want you guys asking permission for shit. In life, grab shit by the balls, take control. That's just how you should do things, you know? Don't be like, if it's okay, sir, I'm, I would love to, I would love to follow up with you in a few months. No, hey, I'm gonna text you my info so you have it. And if you have any questions in the meantime, uh, just text me because I'm going to call you in about six months, okay? 
Let's get you over to ten- let's get you over to let's get you over to Tennessee closer to David Lede. I'll talk to you later. Assume the sale, and I need you guys to lead because over time, like through these coaching calls, I go off on tangents on how you should be communicating as an effective leader because that's what you are. When you show up on a when you so when you show up in a client's living room, you can't be the person that's not in control in that room. You can't be the passive, oh whatever you want. I, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. You can't be that person. You have to be like, hey, here's what we're here to do today. Do you have any questions before we continue? Okay, great. So walk me through your situation. What do you guys want? What, uh, what are you guys' problems? Okay, cool. So, I, uh, we, so we can both agree that these are your, well, this is what you want. These are your problems, right? Okay, great. So here's exactly how we can get you there. Are you guys, are you guys able to do this? Okay, great. Can you do this for me? All right, great. So we're going to schedule a cleaner to come in, blah, blah, blah. We're going to schedule a photographer, a stager. Uh, it's all at my cost. Blah, 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 blah. Talk with you about what you need to do. You're in control the entire time and you're leading them through. Because here's what no one's going to tell you. The listing appointment is truly about you leading them the entire way. It's you holding frame the entire time as the leader. You know, when you, when you listen to a listing presentation, YouTube video, or shit like that, they're just gonna be like, so this is how you talk about the comparables, this is how you talk about the whatever. Yeah, that's all important, but it's truly about, hey, are you a leader? Are you going to be able to lead my family through the sale of this home, this expensive ass investment that we have so we can move a different state and make a huge life decision? Are you the leader that's gonna be able to take us through that? Because if you can convey that kind of leadership and certainty in yourself, they will have that certainty and confidence in you to take them through that transaction. Wow, what a value-packed video that was, huh? Look, if you're looking to follow up and set appointments at a higher rate by knowing exactly what to say, how to say it, and how to turn a no into a yes, if you wanna get more listings in your business, send me a DM with your phone number and we'll give, we'll, We'll have a one-on-one -on -one consultation to see whether or not this is gonna be a good fit. It's completely free. I'm not here to sell you on anything, but I do have a Zoom class that I, that I host where I teach you exactly what's going on with your tonality, what you're saying, how you're saying it, and how to increase these conversion rates to make sure that you are taking listings left and right. If that sounds for you, drop, a, drop your phone number in my DMs and I will see you soon. I'll see you right now. If you enjoyed this video, if you made it to this point, you know where I'm going with this. You're my favorite person ever. And I want to know exactly who you are. So in the comments down below, just so I know who you are, type in, wow, what a value packed video that was. So I know who you are. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video.